So a recent leak has hinted at the arrival of the Google Pixel 9a, with design cues taken from the Pixel 9. The rumored Pixel 9a is expected to feature flatter side rails and a simple pill-shaped camera bump, without the metal bar seen in previous models. As with its predecessors, the Pixel 9a will likely aim to deliver many of the Pixel 9's features at a lower price point. However, it might be time for Google to rethink its approach to budget phones and possibly retire the Pixel A series. When Google first launched the Pixel 3a in 2019, it was a game changer in the budget smartphone market, priced at $399, half the cost of the Pixel 3. The Pixel 4a debuted at an even lower price of $349, offering great value. However, with the release of the Pixel 8a, the price gap between the flagship and A series shrank considerably. The Pixel 8a launched at $499, just $200 less than the Pixel 8, which was often available for around the same price after discounts. This left many questioning the relevance of the A series. Looking forward, it's possible the Pixel 9a will follow this trend. With the Pixel 9 receiving a $100 price hike over the Pixel 8, the Pixel 9a could be priced at $550 or even higher. If so, the distinction between Google's flagship and mid-range devices will narrow even further, potentially making the Pixel A series redundant. Unless Google can keep the Pixel 9a's price around $399 or lower, it might be time to reconsider the line altogether and offer permanent price reductions on past flagship models instead. Last year's Pixel 8 was a notable improvement in both hardware and software, with the promise of seven years of updates. At $499, which is already available through discounts, the Pixel 8 is arguably a better deal than the Pixel 8a, offering nearly the same features with longer-term support. By the time the Pixel 9a launches, the Pixel 9 will likely receive similar discounts, making it a more attractive option than another mid-range model at a comparable price. Instead of continuing the A series, Google could maintain older flagship models at lower prices, eliminating the need for a separate budget line. This strategy would provide consumers with better value without introducing more mid-range phones. So, what do you guys think about the upcoming Pixel 9a? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and as always, I will see you guys in my next video.